Uh, this is just a quick one, just showing you the, uh, this basically is the center differential assembly. So in there you've got uh, your cross pins, uh, your side gears and uh, the brass uh, copper, sorry, the copper shims that wear out. Okay, so normally I whip that bearing off Put the bearing off at the bottom, strip it all, strip that centre diff, rebuild it, new bearings, do all the preload again. Uh, that's part of the clunk, clunk, clunk. So I get a shaft, put it in here. See, so there's very little resistance on that. So that's basically the side gear spinning there. That's typical of a TDCI. Um, Terrible preload from factory, one size fits all. There's two selective shims in here, uh, one there, one in the bottom under there, uh, but they soon wear out because people also don't use the, the diff lock lever. I say on the gravel, do whatever takes your fancy, anything more than that, always engage, push that lever to the left, always engage that centre diff lock. Because if you've got, say, the front wheel spinning in sand, bzzz, then this centre mechanism is just going like 50 million RPM, not quite. So here's the Ashcroft one, it's an automatic ATB. Uh, you can, uh, automatic torque bias, something like that, so put that in. This actually, I tried to grab that before and I was holding this housing. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what it's like, but uh, all the feedback is basically the shit out. So um, to me, that's got to be the way to go. Now you can buy this uh, ATB through me, uh, or you can buy it direct from Ashcroft. I actually don't care. Uh, there's so little difference in their trade price to the retail price. If people want to go to their site, buy it, drop it around to me and say, hey, can you install it? Yep, sure. Um, so that's it. That's the housing that uh, for the centre diff that needs all stripping and cleaning and redoing. Uh, if we go over to the transfer case. Again, uh, it was fairly low mileage. The customer really doesn't want to go to uh, the added expense of rebuilding the transfer case. So Basically, on this, we're just doing the centre diff. So, um, I mean, it's one of those things that, to me, I'm of two minds. You know, it's uh, I've already got the transfer case out. Hell, let's strip it down and rebuild it. Anyway, so all I'll do here uh, is strip the top and bottom bearing off, throw it away, um, strip all these gear sets off it, Put, fit them to the Ashcroft one, uh, fit a new bearing top and bottom, and also keep in mind the bearing is not just that part, it's the outer as well. So there's one of the outers there. So don't do a half job uh, and just replace the bearing part. Replace the outer of the bearing because um, they wear together as a pair. Okay, so... When I strip this housing, I'll strip that out. Uh, I'll just tap it out and do the whole thing. So that's all pretty interesting, I guess. That's the Ashcroft. That's the ATB number. I think that you'll find that'll fit just about all LT230 uh, transfer cases. So I'm not going to bore you anymore. I'm going to do all this and leave you with it.